Yeah. Make sure you get that stuff clean. Yeah, don't be relaxing too long. Yep. What's up, Heather? Just wanted to come on here, give a couple mentions. I do have a giveaway coming up soon. Sorry I haven't got it up any earlier, but uh, man, I'm telling you, these new job hours and everything are just killing me. What's up, Small Town Barbecue? What's up, uh, Francis? So check this out, I got a giveaway coming. It's gonna be a pretty big giveaway. This is gonna be more of kinda that uh, one person wins all kind of a giveaway thing. Uh, a couple things I'm gonna be giving away. As soon as my big head boy comes up here, I'm gonna have him grab something for me. But I have a cookbook uh, from Rivet Gardener as part of this giveaway. I have a magnetic camera mount that would go in your car. What's up, Rally Smoke? Uh, got uh, three jars of L Rabbit's barbecue sauce coming. What's up, Andre? Roundhouse Ranch barbecue. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing that, and then as part of this giveaway, I don't want to say exactly what I'm gonna give away outside of that because I'm gonna be kind of tailoring it. But you know, by who wins, I don't want to be giving a bunch of barbecue stuff to somebody that's not uh, Sub River City barbecue. Uh, that's not uh, into barbecue so whoever the winner is going to be on that particular video I'm going to kind of get with them and come up with a little package for them uh, yeah you could probably help me organize uh, <laughs> Heather anyway did want to throw a quick mention out to another YouTube channel by the name of Papa Texas he sent me this this uh, Bezel's Cajun seasoning and I need to use this as part of, it's kind of like a competition that I will be winning because I came up with an idea that's going to blow everybody out the box. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be working on that today. Anyway, I uh, want to thank Papa Texas for that. If you guys aren't down with Papa Texas, uh, run by his YouTube channel, take a look. Looks like he's blowing up. Mason, come on up here. I need you to grab something for me. I uh, also want to give a shout out to What's Up, In For The Grill. Want to give a shout out to uh, Booger 500 US. Uh, she sent me a little package. We got a little slap your mama. Be putting that to some good use. Uh, you know, I kind of looked at myself a little while back and, you know, it wasn't like I had any illusion that I wasn't, uh, you know, was in great shape. But I, I just been looking at myself on camera and I, I'm like, you know what? A brother got to get in the gym and then cut out some of this extracurricular stuff, but she gave me a little beer holder thing that you could uh, use when you're out in cold weather, keep your hand warm with the beer. I won't be getting around to this for a while. Uh, she also sent me some pot holders. Now, I don't know how she has time to do all this. Like, you know, I don't know if this macrame, crochet. What's up, my blind mama's messy kitchen, Derek. She sent me these. She sent me some of her Booger 500 US uh, koozie things, whatever you call them. That's the one side. We got this is the other side. What's up, Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin? I'm going to be out on that offset smoker today. It's been a while since I've been out on that offset, and I'm going to be rocking that out here in just a little bit. What's up, Roundhouse Ranch? Anyway, she sent that, and she sent some salsa too. And you know I get down with this sauce. As a matter of fact, Mason! But this, these millennials, or whatever you want to call them these days, be lazy. They like do one thing in the kitchen. Small town barbecue said, going to do some dino ribs as we speak. Man, I got these like kind of medium sized. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to do that because that's going to be part of my little competition I got coming up. Don't want to get it out there, have somebody steal my stuff and beat me on my own idea. See, here's what millennials do. I got him clean in my kitchen today, and he'll go clean like one little thing, and then he'll go take a break, and then he'll come back, you know. Come on up here! Big, massive headed, big pterodactyl head. Boy, that would make All right, sense. check this out. There's a cookbook that's on that uh, black table out there. Grab that. Black 
Right there. It's like a little pamphlet. It's kind of black red, something like that. Anyway, be giving away one of his cookbooks, Rivet Gardener's cookbooks, yes. Why don't you come around here so they can see. All right, so Rivet Gardener, boom, made this cookbook. And uh, pretty nice cookbook. You got little pictures and stuff in here. I'm going to be doing some recipes out of this, but this is going to be part of the giveaway as well. I'm here with uh, Hedrick the Entertainer. <laughs> uh, or if you're a football fan, Hedgin Jr. <laughs> anyway, hold down the fort for a second. I'm going to run in here and show everybody what the next part of this giveaway is going to be or one of the things. Say what's up. Hey everybody, how you doing? You know what, here, open up that sauce on camera and take a little taste of that while I'm getting this. Oh. That's a very good thing. Just open it up. Mm hmm. No prior knowledge of what's inside. Oh, yeah, this will be. Oh, wow, it's actually stuck. You don't gotta sniff nothing. Alright. They said, What's up, Mason? everybody. <laughs> Alright, so another thing I'm going to be giving away, so for anybody that didn't wasn't here at the beginning of the video, I'm going to have a pretty big giveaway coming up. I'm not, no strings attached, you don't got to share nothing, you don't got to, you really don't have to be just subscribed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, we got three jars of El Rabbit's barbecue sauce, Rivet Gardener's cookbook, and then for those of you guys that are on the run, have your, have your phone in your car or like to have it in your car this is kind of a magnetic uh, you basically put a magnetic uh, strip on the back of your phone put this thing on top of your dash and it kind of holds it in there so this is a good uh, a good thing so we're gonna throw that in then then whoever does win I don't know what's on your shirt Mason Who's already has Mexico, I believe? Yeah. These things or whatever there. Oh, the one is. All right. You're right, Heather. Anyway, so we're doing that. How's the salsa? It's pretty good. Is it hot? Nah, not really, though. Diane, you got to come through with some heat on us. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to show you what my new favorite pepper is. Got these in my Asian store, man. These things are delicious and they are hot right there. But anyway, back to this giveaway. Uh, depending on who wins, so let's say I've, somebody wins and you know they're not into barbecue, then I'm gonna boom specifically design something for them. Ask a few questions, what they like, what they don't like. Come up with a little package, uh, and vice versa. So I just want that to be kind of tailored to whoever wins. It's been a while for me to get this done, but uh, man, I don't even know how to do a live stream. I actually did this on accident. I was trying to figure it out, and it just made me go live. So. Here I am. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's kind of how that giveaway is going to be. Um, it's been, you know, I was trying to get this giveaway up, and some of you guys that have been with me a while, you know, I was working from home for years, like, you know, like three years, so I had a lot more time to do things. Uh, then I started going back into the office, so then that kind of changed up my schedule. Then I realized the brother needed to get in the gym a little bit more, so I've been putting in uh, Benjamin. What am I going to be giving away? I'll get back to that in a second. Realize I need to get back in the gym, so cut out all that drinking, start hitting the gym for an hour, hour and a half a day. Uh, I'm going to be smoking a few things this weekend. I got a package coming in. Actually, I have a, pa I have a package that came in from a veteran-owned company, former Marine. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. But, uh, damn, I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Anyway, how you started your live stream on accident? Or? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so, been in the gym, so it's been hard for me to do videos, reply to comments, because I try to reply to every single comment, and watch everybody else's video, and all that stuff, so I haven't even had time to do my giveaway video, and that should be a gimme. As a matter of fact, if I'd have known this live stream would have been so easy, I'd have went ahead and done it on this live stream. Anyway... Uh, I'm just going to grab this little package real quick and show you kind of what uh, I'm going to be cooking on here in another week or so. 
Hold it down, Mason. <laughs> Hey everybody, how you doing? Got any questions? I'm not sure how this live stream thing works myself, but it's pretty fun. Alright guys, so I got this 5-in-1 barbecue combination situation. Basically okay. what it is, is it's a 5-in-1 deal right here. And uh, you're supposed to be able to do Beer can chicken, it has a jalapeno rack, a grilling rack, a smoker box, and a skewer rack. I haven't even opened up the box yet. Let's go ahead and knock that out now. Let's see what's up. Oh yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> I, need get a, I need to get a cut. Ugh. All right, yeah, Mason's over here. He's got this little girl thing going on. But anyway, this is part of it. So it has like the little Thing where you can place your jalapenos for like poppers or something. Uh, you know what? I need to read the instructions. It comes with instructions, <laughs> but uh, anyway, I guess that's where you put liquid or something like that. I don't know. Got to get into it. Pretty long. <laughs> and it has. I'm not gonna pull these out there. It, it has. Well, let's see if I can get it. It has these like, I'm not gonna pull it off of these, but it comes with these metal skewers that actually fit in the grooves of this other uh, thing here. Anyway, like I said, I'll be doing a cook on that. Uh, the guy that sent this to me was a Marine, I believe from like 2004, uh, you know, somewhere in that area. And uh, those Blackstone griddles, hey, those things are, if I didn't already have uh, one, two, three, four. If I didn't already have four smokers and grills on my deck and three down on my lower level, I'd probably get a Blackstone griddle. You know, because sometimes I got a few more, you know, I got a little bit of a larger cook to do and, you know, that's, that dripping griddle does a good job, but uh, sometimes it's as far as capacity. Booger, I brought you up a little bit earlier in this live stream. We were talking about your uh, crafting abilities with your little uh, beer holder here. Anyway, so we'll be doing a review on that. Back to the guy, he owns this company. Uh, got was in the Marines like 2004 area, something like that. Uh, sent this out for me. Sent this out to me to uh, do a cook on. So probably gonna start off with like a beer can chicken on this. Maybe uh, use something in place of the beer since I'm trying not to be drinking. Booger. Anyway, that's about, you know, that's kind of all we're doing. Let me, Booger, he's already done a little taste on your, uh, man, I don't think I have a, you know what? I don't think I have a smoker big enough to do a suckling pig. Uh, my offset smoker is kind of, you know, you have offset smokers that are in the, uh, the 20 inch smoker box category and then larger. Mine is like a six, it's heavy as hell, you know, it's like thick metal on that but mm -hmm. it's uh, a 16 inch smoker box I don't think I have the width on that anyway booger let's go ahead and taste I haven't tasted this yet Mason said you're a little mild on this you might want to step up your jalapeno uh, you know habanero game a little bit yeah ooh Annie's agreeing mmm mmm <laughs> That is good, you know what, booger? I think the average person would find this spicy. I don't think, I mean, we don't find it spicy because I light it up around here, but he definitely, uh, or the average person would definitely find that spicy. And it has some good flavor to it, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, good flavor, but lack on the spice. You know what, since we do have a little bit of an audience, you know, I'm gonna tell a story about Mason right quick. People have been asking about, you know, I mean, I mentioned it and people were like, tell us a story about Mason. You know, Mason, when he was in middle school, he thought he was like, uh... I'm about six, four and a half now. Anyway, he thought that's, that, that's uh... out there. <laughs> he thought that he was going to be in school acting a fool, right? Kept telling him, because I'm a, you know, I'll kind of warn you a little bit. And then got that call from school. It's like, all right, Mason. 
So, uh, unbeknownst to Mason, no, Mason's a little too. Yeah, he ain't got no football aggression in him. I might have beat that out of him. That might be my fault. <laughs> but uh, for one week straight, I was following him around in school, sitting in all his damn classes. The teachers were like, ask a question, and I'd be sitting behind Mason. I was like, you better, act, you better <laughs> raise your goddamn hand. You better get in on this question. But uh, he, Mason is a gamer. As a matter of fact, you know what? And that's another <laughs> thing. He, that's the last thing he wants you to bring up is him gaming because you know what? I've been a little, you know, easy on Mason a little while. He's supposed to be trying to do, be an electrician uh, or something like that, and he's been taking a while getting into this. I got a guy I'm talking to you right now. All right, and you know what? If you're not talking to that guy, see, I got a plan for Mason. If Mason doesn't speed up this little process of getting, you know, turning into an adult, I'm going to go down to the recruiting office. I'm going to hit the Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines, and I'm just going to be like, you know what? Here's this guy's phone number. Come by the house anytime you want. I'm gonna base. I'm basically gonna have him on blast and open door for any recruiter that wants to come in here. So uh, yeah, that'll be. That's not gonna come to that. Hopefully, it better not come to that because I will definitely have your ass shipped out. Mm -hmm. So anyway, for those of you guys that asked about the giveaway again, gone through this, but uh, we're gonna be doing. Three jars of El Rapids barbecue sauce. I lost a bet. Ah, uh, see, you talked about the Navy too. I keep Lyle recommended that. <laughs> Actually, the only reason I, the only reason I brought up the Navy was because he wants to be kind of in that CBs kind of a thing. Outside of that, you know, I'd have, I don't know. Anyway, so three jars of El Rapids barbecue sauce. I'm gonna have. Uh, oh, I don't know nice, where I. Nice. I don't know where I said it, but there's going to be a, a dash thing that uh, that you can like magnetically put in your car. Anyway, when I do the video, there's going to be a link in the description to that. Uh, we're going to be giving away Rivet Gardner's Ooh. cookbook. And then whoever wins, I'm going to get with them and tailor a package around what their interests are. So I don't want to send somebody that doesn't like barbecue some bar a bunch of barbecue stuff because I got a lot of vegetarian subscribers I mean as odd as it is I got a lot of vegetarian subscribers so I don't want to be like you know the giveaway is gonna be for some grill set or something like that so I think that on top of the stuff that I have here in my house I'd probably be giving away in that 100 120 130 area something like that and uh, anyway like I said it's gonna depend on who wins What's up, Parnell? How's your boy doing, uh, Jalen Rose the Fraud? Haven't been watching basketball lately. Uh, Mason doesn't have... You know, Mason is like most of these millennials these days. He doesn't have the patience to be doing no offset. Mason will be out there, like, trying to cook some ribs, and, you know, he's like a kid in a butterfly. What's that? And then come back, like, you know, three hours later to have some burn-up ribs nah. or something. I sit with when I cook with stuff. I usually sit next to it. No, Mason's good. Mason is a good indoor cook. You don't see him cooking a lot. As a matter of fact, he does have a video coming up here pretty soon that uh, I haven't posted. Uh, that I haven't posted, and it's uh, yeah. Go ahead, Supreme NBA. Uh, he has a, we did a video a while back that I haven't posted yet that I'm going to be posting here pretty soon of him doing a cook. And he did do an older cook a long time ago. I think that was like a chicken fried steak or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like a grilled cheese kind of thing one time. That came out good. Oh, yeah. So he's done a few videos. I think that was an Italian grilled cheese with like... Sourdough, basil, tomato, prosciutto. Yeah, Heather, you know what? If you're still on, that's a realtor probably calling me right now, asking me to put together some figures for somebody. But you know what? They had all day to get into this stuff yesterday, so they can wait a little bit longer. What's up, Christy? Christy knows about the kings of comedy, don't you? Uh, Angie's Pantry, what's up? I 
I don't know how to do all this moderation and all that. Yeah, that's just so, first stream. Like I said, I didn't even know I was doing a live stream until, uh, you know, until we actually kind of start. I mean, I was trying to figure out how to do a live stream, and then it, like, I think I hit a button that said go live, but I thought it was going to, like, ask me something after that, and then I just kind of went ahead and went with it. But, uh, anyway... Booger, I would, I'm, you know, I already spoke about you sending me this slap, slap your mama. I'm going to be using some of this, but, you know, Booger, I saw that you got in on the Papa Texas Cup uh, with this uh, Bezels. You know, I saw you uh, got in, you know, you got in on this little contest, and I do want you to know that I will be, uh, hooking mine up today, and I do want you to know that uh, I'm expecting to be the winner in that contest. Just so you know. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to make a... Uh, let's see, how do you feel about the Raiders, John Gruden's return? Uh, you know, John Gruden hits me sentimentally. Uh, I do think he will at least change around the culture with the Oakland Raiders. For all of you guys that don't know, I am... An Oakland Raiders fan, and whoever put that last comment up there, I didn't see that because it faded away real quick. What was that, a chip challenge? I don't know. <laughs> He's too soft to get in on these, do some challenges again, huh, chips? Man, if somebody, you know what, here's the thing. That one chip challenge that I did, that, that chip was, was hot, but I mean, it went away really fast. My problem with the chip challenge wasn't the fact that it was hot or anything like that. My problem was that the chip cost $8. Now, luckily, somebody sent it to me, but since I'm one to reciprocate, I ended up sending him a $17 pepper grinder, so basically I ate a $17 chip. You know, I don't mind doing any challenges. It's just, you know, I just, it's got to, you know, it's got to be something that uh, I can get for cheap or, you know, whatever. Yep. Yeah, I'm definitely frugal, Christy. Well, good luck, Angie. I'm telling you, I'm uh, definitely be trying to put my foot in this today. I don't want to get too into it. Just, they just, you know, it's probably gonna take me five or six hours to to cook. So I'm probably gonna need to start getting on that here in a little bit. Kiwana's in the house. Uh. You know what, my wife has been in a few videos, but she's really not all that, you know, she's really not all that uh, into doing... Camera shy. You know, doing too many videos. I'm doing all right. You know, people have been asking me, I'm going to be using my offset smoker today. People have been asking me, you know, how come you haven't been on that offset smoker? All, you've been on these pellet grills and doing all this stuff. Here's the problem, is this new house, man, I got this deck outside. And to get to my offset smoker, I either got to go down a bunch of steps to get into the basement and go out, or I got to go down a bunch of steps out here to go out. And it's been kind of slick. And the last thing I need to be doing is breaking my ass trying to go out there and tend to some ribs and stuff. Uh, or brisket or whatever. But I definitely want to get into that offset smoker a little bit more. For those of you guys that have been around since the beginning of my channel, really all I was smoking on was offset smokers. I think I started this channel with just uh, two offset smokers. Yeah, the big metal one and one other one. Actually, I might have had three or four at the time because I used to refurbish them and sell them. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't I don't feel myself going up and down the stairs, Christy. <laughs> I, the only reason why you do that is because you expect around. something to happen. Oh, what? I don't even know if they can see that. Well, they definitely can see that big ass head. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's about that's enough. All right, Heather. See you. See you later. Um. Anyway, that's about it, man. I'm about to get out here. Like I said, get my entry into the Papa Texas challenge. Basically, hook it up. Anyway, I'll uh. Check you guys out later. I appreciate you guys stopping in to holler at your boy. Man, thanks in for the grill. Just joking. Good talk yesterday, brother. I'm telling you. 
See you. All right, well, hopefully my next live stream will be a little bit more like uh, planned out. Like I said, this was kind of almost an accident for me to uh, do this, but uh, me and this big, uh, I don't know, head of a pterodactyl foot of a platypus will get out of here. <laughs> All right, we'll see if you win or not, Angie. I'm putting my foot in this, I'm telling you. Anyway, we are out. See ya. Peace. I don't even know how to stop it now. Oh, I think you just press that X. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Mason, get in electrician school. Yep. See ya, see ya. <laughs>